This is probably Gemini Tree's most criminally underrated feature because it's useful for app development, creative agency work, viral content creation, and so much more. This is Gemini's Analyze video feature, and in this lesson, I'll show you why it's so powerful, how to use it, and exactly where it fits to automate your creative work. Let's get started. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Jay. I spent a decade in creative and marketing work and half a decade leading data teams and now founded our AI solutions group and Robo Nuggets, our education arm, where we have several hundred members, all AI practitioners across the globe. And here, our mission is to make creating with AI easy to learn regardless what your background is, with a wealth of lessons that most people join for, but most members stay because of the community that we have built. So just to give you context, Gemini Tree, as you know, launched just a few days ago, and with it came a serious upgrade to its ability to analyze video content. And there's a lot of implications and use cases for this, but just so we can illustrate. Let's say you're watching a long podcast like this. Some people actually don't know that you can just grab the link of this podcast, drop that into Gemini and ask it to summarize this video. It's actually able to do that with really good accuracy. And it even gives you timestamps on key moments. And you can even interrogate the video through Gemini itself. So if, for example, I'm curious about where specifically did he discuss the part about scaling loss, Gemini will be able to read the transcript of this video and pinpoint you to exactly where you need to listen to. But here's where it gets interesting, because if you integrate this feature in an automation tool like N8N, then you can fast track a lot of the creative work that you need to do. So let's say yourself or your client is creating educational content on a specific niche and you're browsing YouTube shorts on your phone. If you find one that's going viral, you can just share this to a simple Telegram agent that's hooked up to N8N and immediately it sends back a script in your tone of voice that you can customize that you can just read out to instantly produce content or even send automatically to your AI avatar via tools like Heijin. Or if you're running media accounts for AI videos, and let's say you're in this pet niche, if you find one on TikTok that's again going viral as you're browsing your phone, you can again just share this to your agent. Gemini analyzes the video and creates a prompt for you so that it can call on a video model like Sora that creates a variation of that video and sends it back to you. And because N8N is modular, you also have the option to auto-publish that to Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok if that is what you're after. And all of that is now enabled through this analyzed video node which we used in N8N, which if you're completely new, N8N is a no-code automation tool similar to Zapier or Make.com. But one of the great things about N8N is if you have this template, which you can download here if you're part of the community, you can just import that straight into N8N and it will build that workflow for you from scratch. So to use this Gemini feature in an automation, the only node you need to learn is this Gemini node. And to set that up, it's quite simple. So if you try to find Gemini in here, and if you click on this and specifically select the analyze video action, you'll have that node in your workflow. And to set it up, there's only basically one step that you need. And that is to set up your credential for Gemini which you only need to do once and you'll be able to use all the Gemini features from within any 10 So in order to do that, just go ahead and create a new credential here. And this is just a way for Google to verify that you have the credential or the rights to use their services. And you can see here that basically it's asking you for an API key, which you can get through this URL, which basically takes you to Google AI Studio where you can access a lot of Google's AI models. But to set up your key, just click on this create API key button give it a name and select a project. Now, Google should by default create for you this default Gemini project if you don't have anything yet. So just click on that and click on create key. And so now if we copy this text and place it here, if we click on save, that would now allow us to use these Gemini models from within N8N or other automation tools. And now finally, you just need to select the model here, which I would recommend for you to use their latest, which at the time of this recording is Gemini Tree Pro Preview. And here you can give Gemini a prompt, which we will enrich later. But for you to try it out, just paste in a URL of any video video in here, which for this test, we're feeding it this podcast clip from Modern Wisdom. And now if I execute that step, what you'll find is this error from N8N or from Google around the service receiving too many requests from us. But I actually wanted to illustrate this error because it's quite misleading because the way to alleviate this error is just for you to set up your free trial over at Google AI Studio. So if you go back to where you created your API key, what you'd want to do is to set up billing for that API key. And if you click here, that would take you to the setup page where you can set up your Google Cloud billing account. Now, the good news is because this is Google, they're giving out a lot of free credits for users. So if you're new, you get $300 right off the bat. And the cost of running this is also super Super cheap, which we'll summarize in the end. But in a nutshell, you can run this 100 times and that will cost only something like 10 to 20 cents in credits from Google's site, which is very generous. And so if you just follow the form in here and just fill it up, you'll see the second step does require you to add your card. But honestly, they mostly do this just so that they prevent bad actors from creating multiple free accounts on their site. And once you have that set up, 
If you go back to N8N and, and re-execute this step, it should now give you an analysis of the video that answers this prompt that you gave it. So you can see here that the text says, based on the page source provided, this video is a conversation between Chris Williamson, which is correct, and Naval Ravikant, and also provides a summary of what they talked about. And if you go to table view, that is where you'll be able to preview the whole text in full. So now the question is, how do we go from this into using it in automations that are actually beneficial or practical for us? Well, in our first example, if you or your client is a content creator in a particular education niche. If let's say you're browsing YouTube shorts on your phone and you find a video that's going viral, you can just hit share and send it to this Telegram agent, which is hooked up to this simple N8N automation. And what that analyzed video is going to do is review that video, understand the context of what's being talked about there, and generate a brand new script that you can even customize to your style or tone of voice. So for this example, you can see it generated a script in Alex Hormozzi's tone of voice. So now if you're on your phone, you can instantly just record this by taking a video of yourself and instantly you have good content to post. Or if you're a bit more advanced, you can even and extend this workflow to send this script to tools like Hagen that will create that AI avatar video for you speaking the script. And that's all made possible by this analyze video node by Gemini, which makes setting this up super simple for us. So if we go through these nodes that we've set up, basically we have a Telegram trigger here, which we just have that connected to the Telegram agent we showed earlier. And if in case that's something you want to learn, we have other lessons around setting this up from scratch. But you can see here when we sent that YouTube short link, this workflow was able to absorb that here. And that is what we passed to this analyze video node, which if we open this, you'll see that in the URL, we have this green dynamic value and to get that we just drag this text which is the link into this field so now Gemini has context on what it is that we want analyzed and for the text input because this is Gemini you can actually give it a pretty long system guideline so if we expand this you can see here we have a direction around analyzing this video and make a script out of it in this style which is this one below and since sometimes Gemini adds in extra sentences at the top to respond to you like a user we just have this sentence where we're asking it to output just the script and nothing else and here at the bottom you can see the custom instructions that we gave it, which we just said we want it in the style of Alex or Mosey. But obviously, if you or your client is a different content creator, then you can just enrich this with whatever suits your style. But because it has context on what we want, as well as the tone of voice that we want to include, the text that it generated here is also customized for that person. And then finally, here in the output, we just send that text message back. And so if we open this, we are just mapping that text and sending it back to our Telegram agent. Now, the reason why this Analyze Video node is so powerful and changes things for us a bit is because previously to do something like this, Traditionally, what you need to do is to use a scraper like Appify, which is another paid tool, get that video first, and then feed it to a large language model that is powered by OpenAI or can be Gemini as well, and then set up those multiple nodes in order to get what this one node does. But you can see for this example, it's not creating the content yet automatically, and also not publishing that to social platforms on autopilot. But because this is N8N, which is very modular and flexible, you can also use this node for auto posting. And so for this use case and example, what we'll be doing is send a YouTube long form video, so more than an hour long, have Gemini analyze that video for us and create a LinkedIn or Twitter post that gets posted automatically. And so just to do a quick demo, if we take this episode from Dwarkesh's podcast, which is an hour and 36 minutes long, click on share to share that link over to our Telegram agent. Gemini will now analyze that video and also create the LinkedIn post for us, which when this is done, will be auto posted to LinkedIn by this tool called Blotato, which we featured a lot on our lessons because they let you automate publishing for nine social media platforms platforms, LinkedIn and Twitter included. So with this done, you can see that it resulted to a success, which if we go to Blutato's dashboard, we can find that post link here. And here that post was auto-published, customized to the tone of voice that we want, along with the link to that video. And to give another example, we can try the same thing, but for X or Twitter, where if we trigger our Telegram agent again, this time we customize the Gemini Analyze video node specifically for this platform. And when that has finished processing, that tweet is now available here in Blutato's dashboard, which if we click on that, we now have this one tweet summary what this podcast is about that is also customized to your style or tone of voice. And if we inspect how we set this up, you'll find that similar to the previous example, this one node was able to do a lot of the heavy lifting for us in terms of analyzing that video as well as coming up with the posts themselves. So if we open this one for LinkedIn, we have the same setup here of providing it our input video URL. But if we expand this, we just have a sample system guideline here around providing an output as a LinkedIn post in the style below and that we wanted to give us three main takeaways. And then here you can be as detailed as you want Gemini actually has a really long context window. So even if you feed it multiple pages worth of context, it'll still be able to work and absorb that information for you. And then once you give that instruction using Gemini Tree Preview, it was able to output
output this piece of text, which we now pass on to Blotato, which if we open that, we are just feeding that into this text field, which is going to form our post. And so if we expand this, you can see that our expressions are just resulting to the post themselves and also the link to the YouTube video, which we added via this expression that just points to the original YouTube link that you just sent to Telegram. And so if you look at the Twitter example, it's pretty much the same. The only difference is in this analyze video node, this system guideline that we gave it, if we expand that, this is now customized for Twitter, which has some character limits. And we just gave it some instructions around giving us one meaningful takeaway from that long podcast. And if you have this system prompt, you can just plug it into ChatGPT and customize it to however you wish. And because Gemini Tree is a really smart model, it'll be able to output the kind of text that you want, depending on the guidelines that you give it. Oh, and by the way, if you're using Blotato and you're part of the community, make sure to use our discount code, which you can find here in this page. Now for the last example we'll illustrate, we'll show how to use this analyze video node in order to help generate AI videos for us automatically. So for instance, let's say you run a media account for yourself or your client around the pet niche. And when you're scrolling on TikTok, you find a video that's going viral. Same as before, you can just click share and send that to your Telegram agent, which then runs the workflow for us to have Gemini analyze that video and create a prompt that it then feeds to Sora too. And when that workflow finished processing, you can see it sent the video back. And if you're a bit more advanced, what you can even do is to extend this so that it also auto publishes those videos into your Instagram, to YouTube Shorts or TikTok, depending on which channel you're aiming to grow. And that's all powered by this analyze video node where if we open this, you can see we're feeding it the video URL once again. And if we expand our system prompt for this, our direction for it is to make a prompt for Sora specific to the niche that we are in. And so what Gemini gave for us is this piece of prompt that says fish eye doorbell camera footage. We have the raccoon playing the saxophone and basically a well-written prompt that we can now feed to Sora. And this corpus of nodes is basically how you call on any image or video model in any end. And if you're interested in setting this up, we have tons of other lessons that go through how to set up each of these nodes in turn. But what happens in the end is that in this output node, you can see in the result that it gave us this mp4 file, which is the element that we are linking to this node to send back to Telegram. And by the way, if you notice, another benefit of doing this via N8N is that it gives you a video that doesn't have a watermark, which is in contrast to the ones that you generate on Sora, which always has that Sora watermark baked into the video. Honestly, there's so much more use cases for this one feature. So for example, one of the clients we're talking to runs a handbag repair service and they get a steady flow of of customer submitted videos showing the damage in their bags with the intent of asking for a quote of how much to repair that. So with Gemini's video analysis, they can now automatically detect what's wrong with it and also generate a draft quote that a human can just review and approve, which is a huge time saver. Or for example, if your app idea involves some user submitted video content, this also works great for automated moderation so that you can flag inappropriate content or categorize things without manual review. Now, if you're curious about the pricing, I can just link this page in this lesson, but it's basically contained in Google's developer documentation here, which is not the easiest to understand, unfortunately. But on average, if you make the requests that we did similar to our examples earlier, that roughly translates to something like 0.001 per request. So that basically means that it would take you something like 800 to 900 requests in order for that to cost $1. So there, I hope this video was helpful for you. And as always, all the templates and resources we featured in this video, you can just find them in our community. There's dozens more lessons here around AI and automation that helps you create better, where we have a really strong community too, where our members share a lot of paid opportunities if in case that's something that you're after. And recently, we also partnered with more than 500 AI and SaaS tools to provide deals and discounts for our annual members. So if that's something that interests you, then feel free to check out the RoboNuggets community just in the link below. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.